Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Shots with Profanis. In this video, we will see how to use Angular feature modules which use NGXS state. So, let's get started. Let's directly go to the app module to see what we have. In these lines, we are importing the NGXS module and we use the method for root. This is the code that we used and developed in the previous video. In NGXS, we have two different methods to define the states. The first one is for root and the other one is for feature. The differences are that the for root method initializes the state and prepares the action's life cycle. And the for feature updates the state and merges the feature state with the one that have been initialized when you used the for root method. Having said that, we have to use the for root method just once in the application, only one into the app module or in the core module or wherever you like, but it has to be just once. And we can use the for feature as many times as we wish. In the matter of fact, here we use for root and we have the to do state. But you know what? This is not that correct. We did this in the previous video for a convenience and let's improve this code. And the reason that this is not correct is that the to do is a feature. The code works as is, but how about if later on we decide to convert the to do feature into a lazy load module? We will have a problem. So let's start by just deleting the to do state from here. And let's go to, into the to do, to do module. You know what? I will copy these lines. Into the to do module. And inside here, I will import the NGXS module, but instead of for root, I want to have the for feature. I don't want these options here. And inside the array, I will use the to do state. Let's import this. And this is it. This is how we use the NGXS module into an Angular feature module. Let's go to the browser to see what we have. Let's add some items. I will add buy milk, add, and it seems that it works. Nice. So let's go back to the code. And you might be wondering, how about now if we convert this feature module into a lazy load module? So let's do this. I have converted the to-do module into a lazy load feature module. So let's see what we have done. Let's see the code. Let's go to the app module. And what we can see here is that we have the app routing module. And if we follow this module, what we can see is that we have the path, which is to-do. And we use the method to load children. We are defining here the path to lazy load this module. And let's go to the to-do module now. And here as well, we have the router module for child, and we are defining an empty path. And for this path, we are saying to Angular, I want to render this component, the to-do list component. So this is how we have converted this feature module into a lazy load module. So let's go to the browser to see what we have. What we can see is just an empty screen, and here we have, yeah, I know it's a bit ugly, but this is our menu item, and if I click the to-do list, we can see the to-do items, and let's see if we type anything if this works. And yeah, it works just fine. To sum up here, we use the for root method of NGXS module just once, and it's up to us if we have initial state. If we wish not to have, it's okay to leave it like, like this, empty array. And then we have to use the other method, which is the for feature, into the feature modules, like this one. So, that was it. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below, and do not forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.